building will be a, a downtown furniture warehouse building that burned yesterday after that fire destroyed everything inside. Yeah, it will be destroyed and video from viewers shows how massive those flames were. Black smoke billowing from that area. Take a look and today that building, here's what it looks like. It is just an empty shell. 41 Action News reporter Andres Gutierrez spoke with the owner this afternoon, the, the owner of the building and Andres, what did he tell you today? Mike, the owner has gone ahead and boarded up the building. He plans to add a security fence by the end of today. It won't be long before this building is no longer part of the scenery here on Southwest Boulevard. Today, only the four walls of this four story warehouse remain standing. The rest of it destroyed in Tuesday's inferno. 41 Action News obtained surveillance video that shows thick smoke filling Southwest Boulevard as the first crews arrived to battle the towering flames. At daybreak, firefighters doused hot spots. We've kept people a safe distance away. Uh, we're, not in war we're not in danger of, uh, if it does collapse, we're far enough away that. that um, uh, we're not in any danger there. KCFD and the ATF have concluded this fire wasn't intentionally set. Investigators are working to determine the cause, but because of the extensive damage, they may never pinpoint the exact source. We cannot go inside the structure because it's just too unsafe for us to enter. Tuesday wasn't the first time firefighters were called to this address. 2915 Southwest Boulevard, Friday only furniture on a partial roof collapse. Building owner Bob Enhinger says that he hired workers to repair that damage from Saturday night store. We even lifted about $3,000 worth of new lumber up there. The crew got, they worked from 6 to 1.30. Which spared the workers' lives from the massive fire. Both the city and owner have agreed to tear down what's left of the building worth $400,000. Know, I hate losing that building, but what's done's done. And now the owner is currently reviewing bids from demolition contractors. As for the investigation, the fire department is expected to complete the report in about two to three weeks. Reporting live in Kansas City, Missouri, Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News. So thankful no one was injured in that fire, Andres. Thank you.